Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our moment of power topic today is titled Creation Power, Part 8. And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and his mother and shall cleave to his wife and they twine shall be one flesh. Matthew chapter 19 verses 4 and 5. Jesus was talking with the religious leaders of his time and they were asking him questions about divorce and remarriage. And Jesus in his statement showed that he believed in the historicity of Genesis. Some people don't believe that. They believe Genesis was an allegory that uh, it's not a real history. But Jesus believed in the historicity of Genesis. And this goes a long way. If you don't believe in the historicity of Genesis chapters 1 to 11, a lot of confusion will not only come to your theology, to your understanding of the things of God, it will also affect the way you live, your lifestyle. Now, the gender confusion of our time when somebody is born and he's male and he wants to identify as a female. This used to be classified as a mental disease, you know, before now. I'm not the one that said it. <laughs> uh, before now, it was a mental disease. But many people are beginning to say, it's okay if you want to identify as uh, a female, when you are a male and so the, the definition of a male and a female is actually confused today but god does not want that kind of confusion even when it comes to the clothes of the sexes god wants them to be different and wants the male not to put on the clothes of the female and vice versa god does not want the distinction to be blood but when a man starts doing transgender stuff you know he's like a very poor man saying he's rich and start making statements like that people will know that he is not mentally well but there are people today who are doing the same thing using the sexes but they are seen as cool alternative and all of that so this kind of confusion comes as a result of the departure from the creation story which begins to impact the life negatively and, and that was what happened to the sinners of old those who removed god from their thinking if we read romans chapter 1 verses 24 to 28 we see how paul described this kind of thing in his day verse 24 romans chapter 1 wherefore god also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men living in natural use of the women bond in their lust one toward another. Men with men walking that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their own error which was meet. Verse 28, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. End of quote. So Paul is saying that the reason why people 
slid into lifestyles that are unnatural like homosexuality and all of that is because they choose not to retain God in their mind. Are you retaining God in your mind today or you are putting aside things that are of God written clearly in the Bible? You don't want to retain God, the knowledge of God in your mind. What is so clear in the Bible, you say it doesn't matter. That's just some kind of alternative. You can choose to believe whatever you want. There is no one truth. Your truth is different and always leads to God and all kinds of stuff like that. When you begin to do these things, your morality begins to wane until your life is destroyed. There are many people today who are regretting. You can Google those who regret that they ever tried to change their sex. By the way, you cannot change your sex. Okay? If you are a male or you are a female, it's determined by the chromosomes. You cannot change that. There's no way you can change that. You can carry out operations on your body and try to give yourself some hormones of the opposite sex or something to try to change your body. But it's not going to do that. And you're not going to really, really enjoy yourself after you have done such things. You know, just ask those who have done these things and make some research and you will find out. Don't do things that you will regret all through your life. Yeah, God can still forgive you. It's like any other sin. If you come to God and if you have already made that mistake, yeah, God's grace is greater. And you can come to God and your life will be blessed. You will be blessed as you begin to accept the things of God. And so, Father, we give you glory. We worship you. There is none holy as you. There is none beside you. Lord, we don't want to change the truth of God into a lie. We don't want to be part of those with a reprobate mind. We we, we don't want to reject the knowledge of God. For those who reject the knowledge of God, they perish. They reject the law of God. They reject the order of God. They reject the pattern of God. They do these things and then... They pierce themselves with all kinds of sorrow. But Lord, we want to have peace of mind. We want to believe your word. We don't want to change the things you have done. We don't want to change the truth. Try to change anything that you have done. Yeah, We don't want to follow the papacy that changed the Sabbath creation. We don't want to do any of that. We want to follow you, follow your word. And we know that your word will give us sane minds and peace. So Lord... I pray for anyone who has made some of these mistakes. We've all made mistakes. We've all sinned. So we come to you today that you give us peace of mind. We come to you that you give us forgiveness. We come to you that you will make our lives right with you. You will justify us and, and sanctify us and begin to prepare us for your kingdom and your grace. Bless us and take all the glory today. Let your power, Lord, overshadow us for good. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.